This is BBC News. I'm Samantha Simmons with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. Covid, climate change and Iran, a few of the pressing issues world leaders hammer out at the G20 summit in Rome. Also in Rome, Boris Johnson warns the EU that French threats over post-Brexit fishing licences are completely unjustified. We're going to get on uh, and do the things that matter to to both of us and make sure that uh, we, we work together on tackling the, the big issues that face the world. Three people are killed in Sudan as hundreds of thousands protest on the streets against the military coup. Climate activist Greta Thunberg arrives in Glasgow hours before the start of the COP26 conference. church bells ring out across the UK, sounding a warning about the dangers of climate change. Hello and welcome to audiences in the UK and around the world. After a long day of discussions in Rome, G20 leaders have signed off on a landmark deal to tax the profits of large business by at least 15%. They also discussed climate change, COVID vaccines and, on the sidelines, concerns about Iran's nuclear programme. The summit comes on the eve of an historic conference on climate change in Glasgow, COP26. Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson says that the climate conference will be the world's moment of truth. Our North America editor John Sopel reports from the G20 summit in Rome. 